Welcome back, Legendary Potato here. Today I want to show you guys how to stack envies using Universal Minecraft Editor. As it's really easy and simple, let's get right into it. So first what we're going to do is get a pig and a guardian. And we're going to put them inside this little cage right here so that we can control their position and everything like so. And uh, we're going to uh, go ahead here and exit and save. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is make it so the guardian is riding the pig and that'll be how it works. So. It'll look something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and save inside this so I can easily find it later when I locate myself in the chunks. Now that we're on the PC, let's load up the program in World Like Normal. We'll go to Players and locate the chunk. As you can see, we both have the pig and the guardian sitting right there for us. Right here, I'm going to rename the pig so that it doesn't despawn. I'm going to name him Laser Pig, as he's going to be shooting lasers from the Guardian. Next, I'm going to insert a list tag named Riding. Then I'm going to copy the Guardian and paste it into that tag. And I'm going to delete it after as well. As you can see, the Guardian is now riding the pig. You can go ahead and modify anything else. I'm going to modify his health so it's double, as well as give him custom name, Laser Pig, as well, so that he does not despawn. This can be used to create really cool boss mobs in lots of weird combinations. This is just a simple example, however, you can stack as many entities as you'd like. I'm also going to add a custom potion effect to the pig so that he has two speed so he goes a little bit faster. You can add whatever potion effects you like to whatever entities so you can make custom bosses this sort of way. Once you're happy with everything, you can go ahead, exit, save, load back onto the Xbox. Now that we're on the Xbox, let's go ahead and see if it worked. As you can see, the Guardian is riding the pig as we would expect. If we take him out of the cage, we can see him walking around and shoot us. As you can see here, you can catch him with the leash as well as move him around. And then if we go ahead and fight him, you'll see that he will kill us and have the custom name when he kills us. It also shows his custom name when you get close to him. You can also just disable that if you don't want that. As you can see, Legendary Potato was slain by Laser Pig, so that way this boss mob has its own custom name and doesn't say it was killed by a guardian. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, make sure you do leave a like on it, and subscribe if you're new, because I do tutorials like these as often as I can. If you guys want more tutorials in the future, make sure you do leave a like, and leave a comment what you guys think down below. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.